Making AI videos is easy, and I'm going to tell you step by step how to do it. First, generate the shot mid journey again and again until the look is right. Export it, save it into a backup folder. Upload to Topaz Labs, sharpen it, export again. Save another backup. Now upload that sharpened image into ChatGPT and explain the exact camera move, the pace, the start and end positions, and that you're bringing it into Kling. Take the response from ChatGPT, drop it into Kling, set inputs and wait. Review what Kling spits out. Note what's wrong. Go back to ChatGPT, adjust the prompt, re-enter it into Kling, and wait again. Repeat until the movement finally lands. Now we need a speaking shot. Back to mid-journey for a frame reference, reprompt until you get the wide. Export, backup, sharpen in Topaz Labs, then upload into Nano Banana. Reprompt across locations and angles until continuity feels right. Export the close-up, save, sharpen again, backup, then open a new project in Veo3. Import that frame. Put the same frame into ChatGPT, describe the actions and dialogue for Veo3, then paste the output into Veo3. Generate, review mistakes, go back to ChatGPT, refine and repeat the process till it finally works. Need more B-roll with no dialogue, just realism? Same process for new angles throughout Nano Banana and Topaz Labs. Now bring the output into Seed Dance, generate, review, return to ChatGPT with notes, refine, and run it again until the motion looks natural. Only then do we bring shots into editing, lineup cuts, add music, scream hits, lion roars, whooshes over transitions, speed ramps so the energy pops, polish and check again. Sometimes you end up with two takes, one with a better body, another with a better head. Then you mask, cut the head from one to another and blur the edges. Now we've got three shots of 20 needed for the final video. And this is just a slice of what goes into creating one AI video. So now you know how to do it. Do it yourself. Or pay us and we'll do it for you.